Hello friends, I am Dr. Jyoti Bali, Reproductive Endocrinologist from Delhi. It's almost more than a decade that I've had the pleasure of helping countless couples achieving their dreams of having a baby through IVF. I come from a family of doctors which helps me living in an environment of learning every day. and which helps me practicing my profession very passionately. Now with this IVF, usually couples have multiple questions, anxiety on their minds. Through these videos, I will try and answer the frequently asked questions, the myths, the doubts surrounding IVF treatment. Once your doctor has initially questioned you in the first meeting about yourself, about your work schedule, whether you come from a corporate or a family-run business or a homemaker. It is very easy to understand about your personal self and then advisable to always have a counselling session with the couple, the husband and wife both. It always helps the presence of both because the explanation for the entire treatment, for the entire procedure can be made in one sitting. After which, and also, it brings an emotional support of the husband for the wife. Another reason for husband to be along with is that the first test that your doctor would ask you in any infertility treatment is the semen analysis. Because based on this report, the entire course of the treatment will be outlined. So this is a simple test which is done in any infertility or IVF center and the reports can be obtained the same day and then the treatment line can be defined and counseled at the same sitting. Now let me explain what is semen analysis and why is this so important. We always blame a woman for infertility. Gone are those days. It is important that a man can also be infertile. For example, a woman is normal, healthy, young, married just for about few years, two or three years, let's say. But if the husband is azoospermic, what will the woman to be blamed for? What will she do? Nothing. It is to be understood very well that this couple would require facilities of IVF and ICSI and they need to visit an IVF center. And there, they can have their own baby with this modern technology, help of TISA, ICSI, which I will be explaining in the later videos to you. Once the semen analysis is done, more or less a fair idea is drawn as to which direction the treatment lines will move. The question comes, Doctor, what are my chances? Before giving the chances, the woman needs to be investigated. For what? Ovarian reserve. What is ovarian reserve? It is her capacity at that given point of time to produce eggs which has already been decided or determined genetically, meaning when she was in her mother's womb, the fate was written, decided as to how many years she will have her periods, when will she attain her menopause, how many cycles she will ovulate in her lifetime, more or less. Now getting these tests done, what are these tests? One is a vaginal scan done on day two or day three of her periods and a blood test called anti-mullerian hormone which can be done on any day of the cycle. Put together these two tests, a fair idea is drawn as to what is her ovarian reserve and what are her chances likely of conception because on the basis of these tests you will label her as a normal responder, a poor responder or a hyper responder meaning with PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome. And also the semen analysis put together, the age is right in front of you, you will be able to draw a treatment line for this couple. A fair idea can be given to the couple and explained as to what is the next course of events to follow, whether it is IUI cycle, natural cycle or ovulation induction and time intercourse cycle or straight away IVF or ICSI cycles. Now how about going for these different treatments the timeline taken for them, the cost involved, the number of visits involved. I will explain about each of these terminologies and these treatment lines in my next video. 